ModX comes with a nice content editor to uh, manage and edit the content of your web pages. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to click on audio, which will bring up my uh, edit document settings. And at the bottom, there's the resource content. It's a basic editor. Uh, it has a number of uh, features. Basic text editing, and you'll you'll see that here and uh, along the bottom. So this is basically editing some text. Just going to move this over a little bit so that we can see it all. And uh, it has some more advanced uh, tools to manage content, and those will be covered in a different tutorial. But we're just going to cover the basic text editing here, and I'm going to grab some uh, some filler text from Lipsum.com, which is just some filler text. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in. Now whenever you're pasting from another source uh, whether it's Microsoft Word or another website or another program it's always best to use one of these two paste options. Paste as plain text puts text in just as raw text and it tells you here that it's now in plain text mode. So now when I paste it, it's going to put it in very raw text. And you can see it doesn't even, I have to scroll here, it doesn't even, uh, it doesn't even uh, paragraph it for me. So it's putting in is really raw text. Now I'm going to just undo and I did control Z or there's an undo uh, icon up here. I'm now going to paste it in as word. And as it says, Use Control V on your keyboard to paste the text in. And so this is going to strip out any extra code that might be in uh, the document. And Microsoft Word especially, or the Office um, suite of pro programs, puts a lot of extra code. And I can't stress enough that you should always use this option when you're pasting from an Office application. So here you can see that it's pasted it in now. It's pretty basic. So now if I hit save, and now we're going to go to our audio page, and there it is. There's my text, and it's pasted it in. So now I want to actually uh, format this text and make it look a little bit different. So I'm going to go back to my editor, and here you can do all kinds of things. I'm just going to quickly go through these. I can bold can put italics on them. I can strike or underline. I can strike through. These are just some basic text. I can subscript and I can superscript. Okay, so it's going to format it. Uh, another nice thing is I can create bullets. So I'm just going to divide some of this up right here. So if I click if I put my cursor at the beginning of a sentence or a paragraph and I click the little bullet, you see how it nicely creates a bullet. Um, I can create more bullets just by dividing up. I can also create numbered lists. So instead of it being a bullet, I want this to be a numbered list and it will just automatically create numbers. Uh, it has an outdent and indent and what that means is if I want to create levels of bullets or levels of numbers then I simply click this. Let's just take this one here as an example and you see how it automatically will create a new level and I can keep going with this creating as many levels as I want and if I decide I don't want it on a, an extra level, I can just outdent and that pulls it back and it will always format the numbers just like in Microsoft Word and other applications. The same is true for, for bullets. It will create different levels of bullets. And it has, uh, you know, it has really good features when it comes to bullets and numbers and lists. I can also take uh, a paragraph and I can center it or I can right justify it so it goes to the right side of the screen I can full justify it and depending on the setting of the paragraph it might look a little different 